Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to Z Code System. Drew here, and I thought it would be a perfect time today to talk about the upcoming Major League Baseball 2021 season, which will be starting off on April the 1st. So a lot of big news coming out in the last few days or over the course of this month about the upcoming Major League Baseball season and what we can expect from baseball uh, this year. Now, last year, you might remember, Major League Baseball played a 60-game reduced schedule due to the COVID-19 pandemic, and a lot of issues uh, resulted from the pandemic, teams traveling, uh, games being postponed or canceled, and a lot of issues um, arising during the season, and we weren't able to have a usual, typical, normal uh, Major League Baseball season. Now, this year, as it stands, it is hoped that Major League Baseball will be able to uh, have a more normal season, just as the NBA and the NFL and as well as the NHL are attempting or have attempted to do over the last few months. Now, Major League Baseball was really the first league that uh, had to start from scratch or start from the beginning of the season, if you will, um, and go through the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, the NBA and the NHL, they stopped their seasons and basically just picked up uh, in the playoffs or near the playoffs when they resumed their seasons. And they all played in uh, neutral venues uh, where teams could go and, and uh, basically stay during the entire uh, run of those games that they were playing. Uh, Major League Baseball didn't do that. We saw a lot of different things happen uh, during the season, and uh, a lot of critics talked about how Major League Baseball failed because of the the protocols and the different uh, things that they set out uh, for during the season. So this year they're hoping for better, and I know fans and betters will be hoping for better this year when Major League Baseball has that first pitch on April the 1st. Now we're getting near um, the start of spring training games. Spring training players have reported here and uh, it's getting exciting. I know I've, I'm, I'm listening to baseball tonight, listening to Buster Only and getting all ready for the new Major League Baseball season. And I'm a Mets fan, if you haven't figured that out from past videos. So the Mets are uh, one of the favorites in the NL this year, according to leading sports books at the moment. And uh, they spend a lot of money with a new owner. So um, there's a lot of optimism uh, on my part uh, for um, a good season uh, upcoming for the New York Mets. Now we're going to go over a few things today um, for you to be on the lookout for. So we're going to look at um, some key dates for the Major League Baseball season, and we're also going to look at some of the rule changes and tweaks that Major League Baseball will use this year, as well as we'll look at the betting odds for the top teams uh, going into the season. Now, Last year, we saw Major League Baseball, they had to do some uh, rule changes or they, they promoted some rule changes. So we'll, we'll see how different things are now as we go into the new season. OK, so this year, Major League Baseball has said that they plan to have a 162 game regular season, which is very exciting because, again, last year it was only a 60 game regular season. And, you know, I've been a very much a critic of Major League Baseball over the last few years thinking, uh, in my opinion, that the season is too long and that a, a shorter regular season would make the games a little bit more meaningful in the regular season. And, you know, I argue, if you will, against what I have to say, you can do that in the comments below. That's fine. Um, but I also think that a shorter season would uh, draw more fan interest because there is or there are fewer games um, to, to play and more meaningful games. But of course, as sports bettors, you love a 162 game season because you get 162 games for each team to wager on. So that's really great, um, a, a great thing to have if you are a sports better and if you're a baseball traditionalist. Um, but some key dates real quick, two key dates right there. And we're going to look at some more in just a second. But spring training games will begin next Sunday on the February the 28th. Now, I did see a report saying that games will begin on the 27th. But everything that I um, uh, found after that uh, indicated on the 28th. So perhaps Major League Baseball has altered that in the last few days um, from that initial report. But be on the lookout for that. Spring training games will start um, on or before Saturday the 27th and Sunday the 28th. So just be ready for that. And then opening day will be Thursday, April 1st. Now, what will happen just before that April 1st game, and we'll look at that in just a second with these key dates, 
Uh, what's going to happen is, as you can see there, we've got the grape, the, the grapefruit and cactus league. Uh, they will be being their games will be played from the 28th of February to March 30th. Now, with the games or the days leading up to opening day for um, all Major League Baseball teams, MLB is planning to allow teams to have or host exhibition games at their own home ballpark, and this will give them a um, a run through or a dry run, if you will, of what they can expect to do or what they can expect, how they can expect to uh, host games during the regular season when the actual season begins on opening day there on the 1st of April. Now, fans will be allowed into games, and this is something that will happen in select markets and it will have to depend on the local protocols with COVID-19 and teams being allowed or uh, fans being allowed to go to um, uh, mass events. So depending on each city, each state, etc. and so forth, that will depend on how many players or sorry, how many fans can attend games. So uh, reduced numbers of fans will be allowed. Um, and so that is quite exciting for a lot of baseball fans to be able to and go out and check out these games. Now, the All-Star game was not played last year. We can all remember that if you're a baseball fan, uh, but it will return this year in Atlanta at Truist Park, and that will be played on July 13th. And then the final day of the season will take place in October, October the 3rd. It's a Sunday with the playoffs beginning with the wild cards on October the 5th, which um, we can all get excited about. And then we've got the World Series taking place or beginning on the 26th of the month of October. Now, one thing that you, if you're a baseball traditionalist like myself, um, uh, if, you're like, if you're someone who likes very competitive baseball, you will be excited to know that Major League Baseball is going to reduce the number of teams to, to make the playoffs. Last year, they had an expanded uh, expanded playoffs where uh, more teams could make the postseason uh, because there were fewer regular season games. And I hated that idea because it, it to me it undid what teams did in the regular season. So um, it's, it's that whole thing of uh, you've made this very competitive 60 game regular season, but you've allowed more teams to get in the playoffs to dilute the uh, postseason. Now this year, because it's back to 162 games, the playoffs will be like it was back in 2019. So if you if you like that uh, fewer team uh, playoff structure where it's a little bit more competitive, then you will by all means love this year as that happens once more. Now we're going to see a few rule changes this year because, uh, well, of course we saw them last year in Major League Baseball because of the COVID-19 issues that we had. Now, one of the big rule changes uh, last year was that uh, because of the 60-game regular season, teams only played within their regions, and that took place whether you were in the National League or the American League. So, uh, for example, uh, the Mets only played teams in the NL East, and they only played teams in interleague games in the AL East. Things will be back to normal this year uh, with teams playing uh, uh, everybody within their within their own league, and then obviously things will be structured for interleague games as well. Now, one of the rules that I love that has uh, returned is that the DH will only be in the American League. Personally, I'm an NL guy. I love NL baseball. Um, I love the uh, the strategies that go into having a pitcher. Uh, there and how that changes things, a pitcher hitting in the lineup. I think I love how that changes things. And so that will return. The NL will go back to having the pitcher hit and the DH will only be used in the American League. Uh, playoffs, again, like I said, it will be back to normal. Uh, the expanded playoffs will not be used, uh, but MLB will continue to use the double hitter rule uh, in which double hitter games will remain seven innings and extra innings games will begin with a runner on second base. Now, this was a rule that was implemented last year to reduce the um, to reduce the wear and tear on players, to reduce injuries and fatigue, and to allow teams to compete and uh, play through that 60-game regular season. This year, we will see those rules remain. And you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if those rules remained 
a part of baseball going forward. And potentially uh, those could be rules that drip down to the college and to the amateur levels uh, high school. So we could see that uh, in the near future. Um, active rosters will be 26 players with taxi squads available. I believe it's five players per taxi squad. And then there will be um, uh, some freedom of movement and some different things going on with the AAA teams uh, that uh, Major League Baseball have. That Major League Baseball clubs have uh, going into this season and throughout the season, uh, just again to make the wear and tear less on players. And also, of course, if if uh, a bout of COVID-19 breaks out in a ball club or a few players even just get it and they are out of action, then a team needs to call in some fresh bodies uh, to take over for some time. Now, Major League Baseball has said already that playoff games could be moved to neutral venues. They're going to reserve that right at the moment um, without the season beginning because of you know what could happen uh, four months into the season if uh, if se- several cities break out with massive uh, COVID nineteen uh, COVID nineteen cases. So Major League Baseball is just reserving a few rights right now to where they can alter things and change things as we go. But of course they're hoping to have, as I said before, a normal regular season. But again, you've got to make these kinds of calls at the moment with things uh, just due to to everything, life being up in the air right now. And uh, baseball, you know, it's not going to be like it was last year. It's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit more back to normal, a little bit of the typical year we've had, uh, years we've had before, but it's not 100% back to normal. But, you know, it's good um, for for everybody. It's good for betters. It's good for for athletes. It's good for just the common man and woman uh, to have that structure of Major League Baseball back to feel like the world is getting back to normal. Uh, I know uh, here, uh, watching sports, being able to watch sports, just uh, just having that compared to when we didn't have sports a year ago in March and April and May, just having that back is just a little bit of semblance of life, even though I know I'm working from home, uh, my wife is working from home, my, my kids are off school because of, of different things. So um, just having that semblance uh, to be back is, is wonderful. I know I'm, I'm sure you enjoy it too. All right, so who's the favorite to win the World Series in 2021? Well, I can tell you right now, the LA Dodgers are favorites to repeat as World Series winners. They won the World Series last year, first time since 1988, and uh, they are going in as favorites this season to win it once more. And you know what? The Dodgers have a lot of money behind them, so uh, there's a good chance that they will win it. But with Major League Baseball, the playoff system, uh, it, it doesn't always mean that the favorite wins. Um, of course, I've said it before in videos, that's my gripe for a playoff structure and a playoff system is that the best team doesn't always win. It's the team, a lot of the times, who is hot at the moment. So, um, But again, the Dodgers, I digress, are the favorites to repeat as winners. And we also have the Yankees as favorites to win the World Series, uh, as favorites from the AL, I should say, to win the World Series. They are second favorite in odds. Now, let's take a look at a few of the odds for the top teams, the top rated teams to win the World Series this year. Okay, so the best odds to win the World Series going into things right now, and I'm coming to you on February the 20th. We are eight days away from spring training uh, games being uh, taking place in both the Cactus and Grapefruit League. I know I'll be uh, watching next week. Be excited for that. But as you can see there, the Dodgers favorites plus 300, Yankees plus 600. Now the Padres, that surprised me a bit, plus 750. I actually really, really liked watching the Padres at the end of last year. They were crushing it at the plate. And um, yeah, it's good to see that uh, sportsbooks believe that this team is going to be a good team this year. bit surprised there with the White Sox at plus 850. Um, I didn't really expect the White Sox to be uh, a favorite that highly, nor the, the Toronto Blue Jays um, to be in that top uh, 10, 8 teams uh, in betting odds. I was a bit surprised there. I'm, I'm surprised not to see the Houston Astros uh, in there. I recently uh, read the book Astro Ball, uh, which was a, a good book, um, a book I enjoyed actually more than uh, than, than Moneyball, um, and reading up about uh, the way that they crafted their teams over the last few years. So uh, yeah, check that out if you are into baseball books. But um, there we go. The, the one I'm really excited about, the New York Mets plus 900. Of course, we've already gone through a GM this year. Uh, if you remember, uh, hired a GM, fired a GM within a, a week or two uh, due to some ridiculous personal decisions he made a few years ago, uh, coming back to bite him in the butt. Um, but, you know, it wouldn't be the Mets without having some kind of an issue in the offseason. And we've had them over the last two years. But you know what? There's some money that's being thrown around there. 
and sports books are uh, are backing them the fifth favorite right now before the season begins at plus 900 but then you've got the nl uh, nl east going to be strong braves plus 1000 uh blue jays plus 2000 and the minnesota twins plus 2200 so um like i said i'm surprised not to see the astros in there right now and, and nor am i or sorry and i'm also surprised not to see the indians in there um who uh, have had some strong years both teams having strong years over the last two three four five years uh so um yeah, surprised not to see those teams in there. All right, guys. So these are the current odds, and I got these from Bovada today. Uh, you can go over there and check those out and, and get the latest odds on Major League Baseball futures for the World Series. So, guys, that is it for today for our video for Major League Baseball 2021. Go over to the blog. I've got the blog up there. Some more information is in there. I wrote it up uh, before shooting this video, so you can go over there and read some more. You can get all those odds there for the teams uh, and, and get all your information before you go over to use the tools at Z Code System VIP for next week's spring training games when the first pitches are thrown and get all geared up for April the 1st, when Major League Baseball starts. All right, guys, that's all for today. Drew, signing off. Please comment down below, like, and subscribe to the channel, and stay up to date on everything we post here. We'll see you soon, and as Major League Baseball gets ready for spring training.